If you spend hours with this tutorial and with this tutorial to recreate this without the Saber plugin, don't worry, you didn't do this in vain because I have some extra bonuses for you. My After Effects template is not limited to text layers and masks like in the original Saber plugin. You can apply the effect to video footage, shape layers, particles to make crazy stuff. You may know the situation, you lead a busy life, you may be a creative freelancer who spends tons of hours, days and even weeks in front of the screen. Like me, I create videos, animations and even tutorials. But as much as I like to be a creative and share my knowledge with you, there is sometimes a point where you get stuck creatively. And that's the moment when I feel the need to get away from my desk. And the need to go outside. Into the beautiful scenery of my region in Bavaria. Just a few steps away from my front door. And a few steps become many that lead me deeper into the woods of ideas. Where I get lost in natural effects like snow particles or a flickering sun flare. Overwhelmed by creative thoughts, I eventually find a glade where my visions become clearer. And water. Water has always been my constant companion. It's the rhythm of the waves becoming my way to animate. Being in close contact with the Bavarian lakes, I free my mind. The layers of mountains interacting with each other in their own blending mode. I always get inspired by natural patterns and how they move. At the end of the day, I see an empty composition, a clean slate to start with. By then, I know how to fill it. I know I should stick with After Effects tutorials, not with writing lyrical text. Anyway, go outside, spend time with your family, go and drink a beer with your friends, do whatever you like in your spare time. You'll see, you'll recreate mentally, physically, and all the creative ideas will come back. And to make sure that you will take a break from my tutorials, I have something special for you. And that's the After Effects template you've been waiting for. So you don't have to go through my mansion tutorials anymore. And for those who did, here is the reward. What you can see is the core preset that I recreated in my tutorial. But now, I set it up in 4K. But wait a second, there is much more in the project file. This is the composition you can start with in case you want to recreate another Saber preset or create your own style from scratch. It corresponds to the Saber's default preset. In the next composition, I recreated the energy preset and in the last one, the kryptonite preset. By the way, these are the compositions you're gonna send to the media encoder for final rendering. It's super simple to apply these effects to any footage and here's how you do it. The insert footage here composition is the one you throw all your footage into. As you can see, there is already a shape layer inside. For demonstration purposes, I put the footage composition view side by side with the final result. So when I play around with the shape layer, you'll see all the changes instantly. Now let's toggle off the shape layer and try live action footage instead. I recommend to use isolated objects or persons like this happy woman on a green screen. In my case, I'm gonna look for the key light effect and apply it to the layer to get rid of the green screen. Then I'm gonna apply the find edges effect to detect the contour and check the invert checkbox. And that's it. And this is what it looks like in the kryptonite preset. In the energize preset, in the core preset, and in the default preset. And now let's create an animated text. I'm gonna type in my name, right click on the text layer, select create shapes from text, go into each shape group and delete all the fill operators. Then I'm gonna increase the stroke width to let's say 4 pixels, 
add a trim paths operator, change end attribute to 0%, set a keyframe, go to let's say frame 50 and change end parameter back to 100% which creates another keyframe automatically. And these are the results for each preset. And if you think the effect is too strong, you can adjust the strength by changing the stroke width. Ok, let's do something crazy. I'm gonna switch off the shape layer, create a new black solid, hit OK, look for the CC particle world effect and apply it to the solid. Looks a bit too strong. And that's why I'm gonna decrease the birth rate. You can play around with the particle settings and see what happens. Here I'm gonna decrease the velocity and I'm curious what it looks like in the core preset. Maybe a bit too messy. If you dare, you can fiddle around with the effects I used to recreate the presets to fix this. Just for fun, let's try the tri-polygon particle and see what it looks like in the Energize preset. Or maybe the cube particle type. But this time I'm gonna apply a Find Edges effect. Check, invert and watch the result in the kryptonite composition. Looks interesting. I'm sure you can recreate all the presets available in the Saber plugin. If you want to get deeper into it, just watch my You Don't Need the Saber plugin tutorial. Do whatever you want with it. You can create fun stuff, commercial stuff, or you can just analyze my project file. I hope you like it. If so, please like my video, subscribe my channel, and turn on the bell notification. See you next time.